Uh, thank you, Mr. Deputy President. I move private members business item number 1826 standing in my name. I rise today to highlight a significant week in our calendar, a week to recognise some of the bravest and most dedicated and selfless people in New South Wales. National Volunteer Week was held from the 16th to the 22nd of May this year and was a time to celebrate and recognise the wonderful contributions made by volunteers and the impact of volunteering on our local communities. The theme for National Volunteer Week this year was Better Together. Volunteering really does bring people together and serves as a great connector to build social cohesion and reduce isolation. It not only builds relationships but as a collective, volunteers work to bring communities together. We have seen over the past few years and in recent months just how this year's theme rings true. As volunteers combated fires, braved a pandemic and most recently assisted a community following the floods, they ensured our community spirit remained strong. There are too many volunteer organisations to name, but I want to share some of them here today. I acknowledge the volunteers at the Hunter Regional Botanical Gardens. At the gardens, there are some 200 hardworking volunteers who work hard to keep the gardens flourishing year round uh, on its grounds of some 130 hectares. But one of the volunteers, Mr. Kevin Stokes, was acknowledged last, year, uh, last week as Hunter Volunteer of the Year following 36 continuous years volunteering at the gardens. Uh, as well as maintaining the gardens, volunteers also provide walking tours which ensure knowledge of the local Aboriginal people from, this, uh, from the land is shared with visitors. I also acknowledge that the volunteers at the gardens were featured on the ABC programming uh, Gardening Australia earlier this year as part of a segment on Volunteer Week. Uh, the Surf Lifesaving Movement, of which I'm a member, is Australia's largest volunteer organisation. Last year, more than 181,000 members across Australia completed 1.34 million patrol hours. 8,064 8, rescues were performed, uh, 1.6 million preventative actions, uh, and also uh, there were 53,466 first aid cases uh, in that summer. I want to thank all volunteer lifesavers for their dedication and commitment to the community and the safety of New South Wales' beaches. Uh, I want to highlight the Cessnock District Rescue Squad, which is a local volunteer organisation with 36 members, and the group had recently received a grant of $7,000 from the New South Wales Government to purchase a new television and office furniture to allow for improved in-house training. Uh, last year, those 36 members responded to 295 incidents, including everything from snake re relocations and animal rescues, uh, motor vehicle accidents and missing person searches. Uh, I've also been able to meet with the volunteers at the Belmont Wetlands State Park near Lake Macquarie and the volunteers there are dedicated to restoring the environment, improving recreation and um, community access and working with the local community to ensure that the state park remains safe and beautiful and open for all. I encourage any members here who want to look for a unique camping trip to seriously consider staying at the Belmont Park Wetlands. Um, and seeing the good work that volunteers do there. Now, finally, I want to acknowledge the Port Stephens SES members, Jamie Barnett, David Douglas, Ken Heppelwhite and Alicia Spring uh, Springett, who were part of the Hunter team for the 2021 World Rescue Challenge. That team competed in two separate challenges against 20 other teams from around the world, including from Europe, Asia, uh, North and South America. The Hunter team was successful in achieving a gold medal for the XVR Incident Command Challenge and a silver medal for the Human Drones Trauma Challenge, an amazing result given the calibre of their competitors from around the world. Uh, the 2021 New South Wales State of Volunteering report estimated that there are 4.9 million volunteers spanning community services, sport, the arts, heritage, education, health, the environment, animal welfare and emergency services. Under the New South Wales Volunteering Strategy 2020 to 2030, uh, we are striving to grow participation, to build the sector's capacity, invest in research that improves our understanding and enhance the recognition of volunteers and volunteering. And I thank each and every one of our volunteers in New South Wales uh, for the remarkable work that they do for our state. Thank you for your immense e efforts in times of need and for everything you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Without you, many important services wouldn't run to the capacity that they do. And I commend uh, the motion to the House.